Carro. Hello, my Gemini friends. I hope you're all doing well. Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your reading for December 13th. So the week of December 13th. First card out I have is the Eight of Wands. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. Very nice. The Hermit. Spend quiet time. Spend time in quiet meditation. Spirit, spiritual teaching and self-discovery. So we have two very different energies here, things moving at a fast pace, but the need to decide, decipher uh, what's best going to serve you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands here, please. Tell me about the Eight of Wands for my Gemini friends. Empress, mother figure, good, good news based on a pregnancy. You could have somebody you know that's pregnant. And things start to move at a fast pace. Hmm. This could also be a boss, judge, CEO, someone who runs the empire. You're feeling very apprehensive about what it is you're going to do, what it is you're about to do. There's been an offer, an opportunity that's huge, financially good for you even. And there's good news coming about it, but you're apprehensive. Why the apprehension? Because of endings. You're afraid that something is, oh, or maybe you have to end something first before you can take the new. You're apprehensive because you feel fear that you will be stabbed in the back. You'll end, we all get comfortable in our thoughts and in our fears. Someone here is comfortable in their thoughts and their fears. And they they fear that ending. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Juggling a lot. When this opportunity comes in, there's a lot of things that need to change. A lot of juggling needs to go on. You're trying to protect what you've created. I don't believe you're avoiding an ending. I think you just want to control how the ending comes about. Yeah, control how the ending comes about. See, the emperor is the person who does what's best. They take control, but they do what's best for everybody, not what's just best for themselves. So we have a match here in energy. This also could be boss, judge, CEO. It could be two companies you're dealing with. It could be two parents you're dealing with. It could be you. It could be your significant other. It could be many different things. Take it as it resonates. Spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching and self-discovery romanticizing the past something about your children we have a someone who wants to take control someone who wants to hide away from taking control and it may have something to do with children hiding or uh, hmm, hiding away from a balance sixes are about balance but someone walking away from a false idea that was previ previously held and this is all about my preconceived notions about the past being better than it actually was something about when you were a child or maybe you, maybe there's a certain person you're dealing with and you said oh yeah but man we were just kids at the time ending the cycle here Ending the cycle between these two or between this uh, with having to take responsibility. Just wanting to go in hermit mode. There's communication possibly coming forward from your children that's going to be difficult to take. Someone very well might be trying to control the children into not making that decision. It could be that a boss, judge, or CEO is going to step in and end the cycle. Wheel of Fortune. Dang! This is news, even though it's not going to be easy to take, it's going to bring about massive change. It tells me the divine is in charge of this whole shit show you're going through, my Gemini friends. They have got you epically. Wow. But a massive end to a cycle. Massive. No wonder you want to go into hermit mode and run for the hills. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 
this is also Virgo energy. So we'll go with Virgo energy. Nurturing, caring, building a well for themselves. I think someone could have had children with a Virgo here. Romanticizing the past with a Virgo. Communication coming in really hard, really fast, in order with the intention to cut. All of a sudden, it's like wakes someone up out of a slumber. It's like, man, I've been asleep at the wheel here. I need to get on it. I need to get moving. And in some sort of way, with this communication coming forward, it's like a cycle, a, a portal opens for the communication to come through, whereas before it wouldn't have been able to. And as the communication comes through to you, or whomever this is, the Wheel of Fortune spins in your favor. There's definitely been a delay for that to happen while you've been going through this energy. Somebody keeps coming around this person and offering you what seems amazing. So then you're stuck in a loop of going, well, geez, what should I do here? What should I do there? Well, yeah, the money's good, but where's the love, man? Where's the love? I just saw the Eight of Wands again. Things moving at a fast pace. Delays are over regarding an ending. You are apprehensive, that's for sure. Crossing the Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, yeah, and ending with someone who's a kindred spirit. You may already know this person that's a kindred spirit because this is a new beginning, a new journey with somebody. And good news coming in there about an ending or something, 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 something. All right, passionate new beginning. Well, someone wants to, uh, you know, get things moving in a passionate way. New creative endeavor, really using your intuition. There's an opportunity coming from the divine and you need to step into your intuitive self about it. I wonder if somebody here that you're dealing with is an intuitive. Somebody who maybe reads cards. There's a great sadness that's been around, that's for sure. Oh, this person, I don't, I don't get that you trust this person very much. My Gemini friends, because of pains from the past, perhaps we got reminiscing from the past, but you are in sadness. It might take some time to heal before you can bring this opportunity forward. Well, there's your victory. Wow. I would, I, I think it's almost been upwards of 20 years. It's like been upwards of 20 years. I got the 10 and the 10. That they're sticking out in my mind the most for numbers. 20 years since possibly even this pain happened for you. Lying, cheating, stealing, self-sabotaging. Getting out while the getting's good. Man, there's some fuckery going on. Mental and emotional fuckery on all levels. This is like, you're stuck in that loop. Like I said, between the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. It's like, I'm going to leave the Two of Swords behind. I'm leaving the indecision behind. And I'm moving forward. But he's carrying Five of Swords. Now, in the depiction of the Five of Swords, the dude is carrying Three of Swords, which is this. Carrying the hurt and the heartbreak. And he's winning at all costs. He doesn't care if he hurts in the process. He doesn't care if others hurt in the process as long as he wins this time. That's what I'm getting, taking control. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan, and when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember, though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us, spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life, and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. What does Spirit want you to know here? Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. 
oneness is my true nature. We're not here to fight against spirit. We're here to be one with spirit and one with all. All for one and one for all. Someone actually talks about this situation as the three musketeers. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, my peace cannot be disrupted. So love will take you through it all. Be in alignment with love within yourself and your peace will not be disrupted. There's a huge victory about to come your way. Joy is the ultimate creator. Get into joy and watch it all fall into place. I love you. Hope this helps. Blessings.